Hello my dear students, in this video we are going to write a program to find the frequency of presence of an element in an array. Here frequency means how many times the particular number has appeared in the given list of elements. So let us uh, begin with the preprocessor directives hash include in an angular brace I am going to write iostream.h header file. The next preprocessor directive is hash include console input output dot h header file now let us define a class class is a keyword and i am going to write the name of this particular class as frequency curly open brace here i am going to declare all the necessary variables which are to be used in the program int i'll write array a of 10 comma i want n i and ELE so these are the variables now let us write in a public section colon and here I'm going to write the return type wide get data get data is a user defined function similarly I'm going to declare one more user defined function called wide put data and put semicolon curly closing brace and put semicolon so this indicates it's a termination point of a class definition here in a class definition we have declared two user defined functions called get data and put data so we need to define both of these two functions outside the class definition using scope resolution operator so we have to write first the return type wide as it is next we have to write the class name that is frequency then I'm going to write scope resolution operator and now I'm going to write the function name get data curly open brace and here I'm going to define it. Now I'll ask the user to enter the size of an array using cout statement cout stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark I'm going to write enter the size of an array and the double quotation mark and put semicolon using scene statement i'm going to get the value for this n and put semicolon now i'll ask the user to enter the elements so see out in a double quotation mark i'm going to write enter the elements and here i'm going to use backward slash n so that the cursor can come come down to the next line now we'll use for loop for i is equal to 0 i is less than n and i plus plus then we'll use scene statement to receive the elements one by one so that is a of i and put semicolon curly closing brace indicates this is the uh, termination point of this particular user defined function now let us define put data outside the class definition similarly i'll write wide name of the class called frequency scope resolution operator then i'm going to write put data then curly open brace here i'm going to declare one variable called count student will get confused with count and cout so it is c o u n t count is a counter which will keep track how many times the particular element has appeared so for the first time initially it will be set to 0 int count is equal to 0 now let us ask the user to enter the elements whose frequency is to be checked so i'll write here c out stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark i'm going to ask the user to enter the element whose frequency is to be checked so end the double quotation mark and put semicolon you can write this particular sentence or statement in a single line i do not have space because i want to write it here as well so that's the reason i have written in two lines here now let us take input c in and here we have declared one variable called ele that is element i'm going to use that element over here now let us check out that how many times this particular element has appeared so for that i have to use looping construct for i is equal to 0 
i is less than n and i plus plus now under this i am going to check out the condition if element is equal to a of i then the counter has to increment its value so count plus plus so counter has to increment its value by one now after the iterations so it has to display the result so see out element in a double quotation mark i'm going to write has appeared end the double quotation mark stream insertion operator you write count and then stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark i'm going to write times so how many times that particular element has appeared next curly closing brace indicates that this is the termination point of this put data user defined function now we have defined both of these two functions outside the class definition now it's time to go for writing main function because without main function we will not be able to execute this program at least and at most one main function must be present in c++ program and always execution of a c++ program starts from main function only and in main function we are going to create the object of this particular class now let us begin with wide main curly open brace and here i'm going to write the name of the class is frequency and i'll write f as an object so with the help of this object it is possible for us to access get data and with the help of this object it is possible for us to access put data after declaring the object we can write clr scr which is used for clearing the screen next with the help of this object f dot dot is a member access operator f dot i'll write get data so we have to call first get data because we have to receive the information first then we have to process so next f dot put data then we'll write get ch function then curly closing brace now let us check out how exactly this program works so here i'm going to write output always execution of a c++ program starts from main function only so here f dot get data as soon as the compiler encounters with this particular function control directly jumps to this get data function and it will ask the user to enter the size of an array so it is going to ask enter the size of an array here i am going to enter for example 5 and then press enter n is holding value 5 now it will ask the user to enter elements enter the elements so just because of this backward slash n the cursor will come down to the next line and just because of this iteration so we are going to enter one by one so i'm going to enter one two 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 then three you can see here i have already entered five elements so after this again control comes back to main function f dot put data now put data is called so control directly jumps to this put data function here we have int count is equal to zero see out enter the element whose frequency is to be checked now it is going to display enter the element whose frequency is to be checked so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to enter two so how many times two has appeared we can check out here so here two is stored in the variable ele and you can see here for i is equal to 0 i is less than n so n value is what 5 over here so z, uh, 0 is less than 5 s yes, condition is true then we are going to check out this condition what is the value of element here that is 2 whether 2 is equal to a of 0 for the first time correct so a of 0 is holding what it is it will be mapped in a memory something like this so first second third fourth and fifth so zero one two three and four so this is a of five so here you can observe that we have entered elements one two 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 and three correct so let us consider the first one is a of zero that is holding value one so whether 
element here you can see if element is equal to this one so that is a of 0 a of 0 is what if here you can see 1 it is so element is what 2 2 is equal to 1 no condition is false so again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 1 1 is less than 5 yes condition is true once again we are going to check out this condition so what is the condition now if element is 2 whether 2 is equal to a of 1 a of 1 is what 2 so yes it is true so once it is true then the counter value will get incremented by 1 now count is what count is equal to 1 now again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 2 so here we will check out the condition if 2 is equal to a of 2 a of 2 consisting of what again 2 so it is also true once it is true the counter value will get incremented by 1 now count is equal to what 2 again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 3 3 is less than 5 yes condition is true now if element is equal to once again we are going to check out if element is what 2 is equal to a of 3 a of 3 is holding what again 2 so this is true if this is true then count value will get incremented by 1 so i am going to write here count is equal to now it is 3 okay so next again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 4 we'll check out the condition if element is what 2 only and here a of 4 consisting of 3 whether 2 is equal to 3 no condition is false hence this count will not get incremented again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is what 5 5 is less than 5 no condition is false once the condition is false then control comes out of this iterative statement then it is going to execute this particular statement so see out ele what is ele here element 2 correct so 2 has appeared count what is the value of count latest value is 3 so 3 times so let us execute this program for that i will take you to my laptop here you can see that i have already written this program to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 so here it is showing success that means there is no syntax error let us execute this program by pressing ctrl f9 now it is asking the user to enter the size of an array here i am going to enter 5 and press enter now it is asking the user to enter the elements i am going to enter 1 2 2 2 and then 3 and press enter now it is asking the user to enter the element whose frequency is to be checked now i am going to enter 2 you can see that in a list of elements 2 has appeared 3 times once i press enter it shows that 2 has appeared 3 times i hope you understood if yes please comment in the comment line as yes thank you